going everyone? Today we're going to talk about Clubhouse, the social network that everybody is asking about and looking for an invitation to. But before we get started, I wanted to thank you for watching my videos and sending so many awesome questions. I have questions for months, but still send me more because many of them are around the same topic so I can bundle them all into one video. Let's get into Clubhouse. So it's a social network, and when you get in there, um, you're gonna notice that there's clubs. One of the main features of the social network is the ability for you to participate in a club or create a club. Now, these clubs are actually more like podcasts, live podcasts um, in which you can actually participate. Although, to tell you the truth, the really big clubs are more like panels with experts and you're in the audience and you may raise your hand and ask your questions but they are so massive with thousands of people that it's very hard for everybody to participate so to me in that case clubhouse is more like listening to a live podcast or just listening to the radio the second category are the smaller groups where it's easier to participate but even there, usually the moderators either invite a small group to the podium on the stage or um, one by one as people raise hands, they may invite them to talk. And then you have the smaller groups where it's a lot easier to talk and have interactions. And those are usually created, a lot of times they're created by friends all over all kinds of topics from all over the world. So it's actually really interesting. If you happen upon a really well-moderated and interesting club, it can be very interesting to tune in at a minimum. The challenge though that I see with Clubhouse is that you really need a bigger attention span. You need to dedicate a, a longer time frame to really be able to participate. Otherwise, it's just like listening to the radio. You tune in and out. There's nothing wrong with that especially if you're the learning type. Also, Clubhouse is more for verbal communicators. But for the people that it's easier to type and chat and interact that way with other people, other social networks are probably gonna be more appealing. But for those who love to be on the phone, love to speak, this is a wonderful social network. But it does require more time. So for me, it's been really hard to participate. You, you cannot multitask. So during my day when I have just 10 minutes here and there, it's a lot easier for me to go on Twitter, to go on LinkedIn and enter a conversation. Whereas with Clubhouse, you really have to be in or else again, it's just like a radio. So when people ask me about the, the future of the social network, I am a little skeptical about it because of the commitment. But for those who can be in it, I think, it's very catchy. I know people who say they're addicted to it. They can't stop listening. But I know that the founders are, are really good about listening. So I expect that it's going to continue growing and changing and be around for quite a while. So we shall see. Let me know what you think about Clubhouse. I still have a few invitations, so drop your comments below and your questions. And give this a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me. I'm everywhere at Manamika, M-A-N-A-M-I-C-A. And I will see you back here next time.